Hey guys, Michael here. It's January 24th, 2009, and I'm here with another Windows 7 video. This video is going to be on the keyboard shortcuts that I think will make your Windows 7 experience more productive, and just you'll just be happier knowing them. So, the first one is Windows Space. This is also known as PEC. This makes all your windows transparent, so you can see right through to the desktop. But as you also can see, the outline of your applications are still there. So like I said, this is called PEC, and there's actually multiple ways to initiate PEC besides that Windows space. In the bottom right hand corner of your taskbar, there's a little thing that, a little rectangle that says show desktop. If you hover over that, it'll act, it'll initiate PEC and again, make your windows transparent but still outlined to the desktop. So let's just make sure this window is the active window for the demonstration. So with your active window, if you want to maximize it, you can press Windows up arrow. If you want to minimize it, you know, not maximize, just basically, I guess you could say restore, you can do Windows down arrow. From there, you can also do Windows down arrow again, and it'll minimize your application. Now, if you want to dock it to a, to a side, we all remember this. I showed you. You can dock it. But let's say I, <laughs> let's say I didn't want to use that. Like I said, I want to use a keyboard shortcut. So I can do command left arrow, it'll do that, command right arrow again, it'll move it to the other side. And as you just saw, it sort of hops. Um, I have two monitors, so I'm just tapping the right arrow holding down the Windows key, and it's moving all the way across from my first screen to the second screen, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you can do Windows left and right, but let's say you move it out from after being um, clipped after being docked to the side of your monitor you don't I don't really like how that looks it's still vertically but if we want to restore that vertical orientation we can press the Windows shift down key to do that um, and if also we want to maximize the window vertically we can press Windows shift up and it'll do that for us so we'll just undo it um, if we want to minimize all of our windows, we can do Windows, the Windows key M. It'll minimize everything. If you press Windows Shift M, it'll restore those minimized windows. So that's really nice. Minimize, unminimize. Really quick to do. Now, we have our icons at the bottom there. If you press Windows T, you can cycle through. So T, 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 it cycles through everything that's in there, pin things, and active. But we can also release Windows T and use our arrow keys. So right, now I want to move to my left a little bit. Now I use the up arrow, and I can actually control which windows I'm looking at. Now I'm done with Firefox. Let's say I can press my down arrow again, go back over here, and then see my notepad stuff that I have open. Really an easy way to manage your taskbar with that Windows T and then using your arrow keys to control. Now if I do Windows P it'll open up my presentation so I can do show desktop only on the projector, show des sh extend desktop onto projector which is my current setting, duplicate desktop on projector or show desktop on computer display only. Uh, that's pretty much uh, what I'm doing now. I'm just having it extend onto my second monitor also known as projector. That's how they call it. Now let's say I wanted to zoom in and out, I can press the Windows key and the plus button. That'll bring up my zoom control, you just saw it pop up right there. Now I can zoom, now I can, whoops, I didn't do that right. Uh, let's just minimize that. Windows plus, not the arrow, Windows plus will zoom in. Windows minus will zoom out. Plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, minus. There we go, zoom in and out. And then the last thing I want to show you, not a keyboard shortcut, um, but it's a keyboard thing that'll make everything easier for you. If you just press it when you have active applications or active instances of that application, it'll give you this, which is, which is good. I like having that option. But if I press shift and then click, no questions asked, it'll open me up a new window. So instead of having to right click or do anything of that nature, you can just shift click, open up a new instance makes everything really easy when you're dealing with multiple applications and multiple instances, multiple windows of those applications. It makes everything really nice. So anyway, guys, uh, for more of my content, go to youtube.com slash the revived one for Windows 7 tips, tricks, and for Mac OS 10 tips and tricks, and for pretty much all types of technology that youtube.com slash the revived one. Um, I hope these Windows 7 keyboard shortcuts helped you and will make your Windows experience more productive. Take care, guys. Have a good one.